So, day one of four with, uh, with Junior Wit has done, just in my hotel, uh, by myself. Um, yeah, uh, so I was going to say a few things there, but the wife will be watching, so I was like, do not say. So I'm going to be watching telly by myself. But, um, <clears throat> so after spending the day with Junior Wit, he's... Uh, He's not actually what you think. Do you know, when Paul Venice got to meet me, he went, do you know what, Jamie? I didn't think I was going to like you. And uh, overall, when people say, I didn't think I was going to like you, and then they meet me, and they find out they were right, and I'm a bit of a knobhead anyway. But no, do you know what, Junior Witter? He's the character you've all seen for, for years. Brash. <sighs> arrogant. Cocky. Swagger, attitude. Uh, oh, he was, he was, he had it all, didn't he? And he, he was good, and he knew he was good, and he told you as it was. Uh, and some people just didn't get him. Well, I just said to him about an hour back. I said, you know what this book's going to do? It's actually going to take that mask off, and it's going to let the British public know that it was just a mask. And unfortunately. He was around, not only was around in the same era as Britain's greatest, most loved fighter of all time. Yes, there was Henry Cooper. Yes, there was Frank Bruno. Br Ricky, Ricky, I was going to say Ricky Gervais. Ricky Hatton. Um, everyone loved him, didn't they? So you couldn't outmatch Ricky Hatton. It's just impossible. Just, you know, a, the Pope couldn't outmatch him for being nice. So Junior thought, you know what? And obviously, Brendan was saying, well, do you know what? Play the pantomime villain. But this book, this biography, The Avoided, is going to show a different side. And I said to him, I said, you know, Summer, there's about 94% of people, out, maybe even more, that they judge you by how you wear. The ring walks, them, them uh, haircuts, all shaved in patterns and all that kind of nonsense. The loud rap aggressive music that's who people thought junior witter was when he's actually not he's a uh, private quiet with a bit of a dark sense of humor but he's um he's not as you think he is so over the next couple of months when he's on the sean atwoods and the james englishes and all these other different things in the talk spot you'll actually realize wow i got that guy wrong um yeah, because as as I spent a bit of time with him, I thought, you you are actually not like all them interviews that I've seen you do. When he's just looking at the camera and saying, yeah, I knocked him out, so what? Who's next? Do you know, and you, when you're watching it, you think, oh, what a dick. Do you know, and he, a boxer has to be, and has to put that act on, doesn't he? He's not going to go on and go, oh, I might win, oh. I don't know, he's got to be cocksure of himself and Junior the Hitter Witter was just that. But uh, as I said, uh, you know, I've met him quite a few times now and he's not he's not actually like that. But for the record, I am like that. I am a full-time knobhead. Um, so all these YouTube comments that you've got slagging me off, you're right. <laughs> no, so I'm going to be with Junior Witter tomorrow, day two, uh, Wednesday, and I'm going to be with him... <sighs> Thursday and Friday, um, might even need to be more, I don't know, but uh, I've got four chapters done, so I've got another 18 to do, so I've got a lot of, lot of time to spend with him. I might get with him tomorrow and go, do you know what, you're right, he was a not bad time off of him. Uh, no, do you know what, it's an absolute huge honour, privilege, uh, I was a Junior Witter fan like I was an Alan Thompson fan. Uh, one of the comments I got, when I first announced I was doing the book last year was, oh my God, I can't believe it. The most hated author of all time is doing the hate, the most hated boxer of all time. But uh, do you know what? Don't judge your book by its cover. Pardon the pun. Um, you know what? Just let his book come out and you'll see the real person. He's actually quite a nice guy. Um, so yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be meeting him tomorrow. And uh, I'm going to be sparring with him. Uh, what day are we on? Tuesday, I'll probably be sparring with him about Thursday, so I'm going to have about three rounds of him, and uh, 
I'll film with you all again. Thanks for your time, guys. Don't forget to click and subscribe. God bless.